to Sunday Fun Day. This week we are looking at the story of Esther and the super strength of super selflessness. Now we're going to find out a little bit more about what that means in a little bit with Kirsten. But this week is a little bit tricky because I thought, oh, I should do a challenge. But then I read the story of Esther and actually it's pretty intense. And I thought, without risking my life, I'm not really sure I can do it any justice in the form of some kind of challenge. So I thought, hmm, what's one thing that I've really missed um, about Sunday Fun Day and about being with other people? And one of the things I've really missed is getting to worship together and sing songs together with about God and for God. Um, so with that in mind, I thought it would be great for us all to get on our feet, have a little dance and a sing to Our God is a Great Big God. Enjoy! Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. He's higher than a skyscraper and He's deeper than a submarine. He's wider than the universe and beyond my wildest dreams And He's known me and He's loved me since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan Our oh God is a great big God Our oh God is a great big God Our oh God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God Our God is a great big God And He holds us in His hands He's higher than a skyscraper And He's deeper than a submarine He's wider than the universe And beyond my wildest dreams And He's known me and He's loved me Since before the world began How wonderful to be a part of God's amazing plan. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God. Our God is a great big God and He holds us in His hands. And he holds us in his hands. Right. I am worn out after that, but how great it is to sing songs and worship God together. Right, now time to sit back and relax, and here's this week's story. Esther was a kind of superhero, and she was very brave. So this is her story. Esther was Jewish. That means she was an Israelite and she lived in the land of Persia with her older cousin Mordecai. The king of Persia needed a new queen. He announced, bring me the most beautiful women from all over my kingdom. Esther was one of the women sent to the palace. When the king met Esther, he chose her to be his queen. Now Haman was the king's chief helper. He hated the Jewish people. They were God's people. Haman wanted everyone to bow down to him. One day Mordecai refused to bow down to Haman. Mordecai would only bow down to God. Haman went to the king. He said, the Jews are bad people. You should sign a law that will help me get rid of them. So the king signed a new law and God's people were in great danger. Mordecai heard about the new law. He ran to tell Esther, you must save yourself and the rest of God's people. Perhaps God has made you the queen for this reason. So Esther came up with a plan, but it would be very risky for her. And if the king didn't like it, she might lose her life. So she asked God's people to pray. Esther invited the king and Haman to dinner. 
Then she asked the king, "Why does Haman want to get rid of me?" The king was surprised. Esther said, "I'm Jewish. Haman tricked you into signing a new law that would get rid of all the Jews." The king told his guards, "Arrest Haman." Then he made Mordecai his new chief helper. He told Queen Esther, "I will make a new law that will keep you and your people safe." This is how God used Esther to save his people. Wonder what you thought of the story of Queen Esther? She was very, very brave and put herself on the line for her people. You know, she could have been killed by just walking into the king's、uh, room without being, well, without being summoned, without being asked to. I wonder, have you ever done something kind and thoughtful that could have put you out, or maybe even got you into trouble, but you knew you were doing the right thing? Esther was super selfless. That word's funny, isn't it? Selfless. It kind of means putting other people before ourselves, and Jesus talks a bit about that as well when he talks about loving our neighbours as ourselves. So I wonder this week, is there something really kind and thoughtful that you could do that will put you out? Maybe do some chores for your mum or for your carers. Maybe just be a little bit more thoughtful and kind. Or do something on behalf of someone else. You might just find one day God puts you in the right place at the right time. So stay brave and be strong, and trust in God. Wow! What an incredible story, and what an incredible woman Esther was. She put her life on the line for the sake of her people. She is a real superhero of the Bible. She really was super selfless, wasn't she? Okay, so this week in your craft pack, you should have some sweeties, and、um, this awesome flying plane because who doesn't love flying a plane? And Lego challenge this week is make a beautiful crown. And apologies, as I think last week the wrong cards went into the bags, so that might have got a bit confusing. Anyway, this week it should be make a beautiful crown because of course Esther was a queen, wasn't she? And that's awesome. Right, so here is this week's craft. Now the cool thing about Esther, and actually the cool thing about all the superheroes that we're going to be looking at this term, is they could not have done what they did without God, without God's help, and without His power. So let's turn to Him now as Karen leads us in our prayers. Let us pray, Heavenly Father, as we hear of the story of Esther, we give you thanks for the example of amazing people in the Bible. Who put others ahead of themselves, sometimes risking their own lives for the good of others, or to to defeat evil. We thank you for Jesus, who died for us, because we sometimes do wrong things. We may not be called on to put our lives on the line, but help us, God, 
to always remember to put others first, at home, at school, with our friends. Help us always to share and not be selfish, to love others more than we love ourselves, to give generously to those in need. Amen. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. As ever, do send your photos and videos. It's always great to see what you guys are getting up to uh, with the things in your packs. All right, have a great week. See you next time. Bye. Bye.